Okay, guys, today I want us to discuss how to create a successful e-commerce store in 2023, right? But before we do that, guys, I first want to talk about the perfect relationship, why e-commerce is so, it's so popular today and why e-commerce stores are doing so well today. Okay, this is the reason why, social media, okay? So the thing that makes e-commerce work so well, it's one way. Social media, okay. Social media made e-commerce what it is today. That's why Facebook. If you remember, guys, Facebook and Instagram, okay, they did something interesting. What did they do? They both created what? Shops within the platforms. Why did they do that? Why did Facebook and Instagram create shops inside? Their platforms because they have figured out that there's a powerful relationship between e-commerce and social media okay there's a powerful relationship between social media and e-commerce that's why facebook created a shop instagram created a shop because they have all the data and they can see what's happening and what's working and what what are the tools they can provide for people to help them become more successful and that's why they created shops. Okay, so now in this video, I'm gonna we're just gonna spend a few minutes talking about why fake social media and e-commerce work so well together. And once you understand that, then you will know how to make your e-commerce store do well. Okay, so we when you talk about social media, guys. Okay, social media. Okay, social media basically is it's creating what we call influencers, right? That's what basically social media does, okay? You go to social media and you get to watch influencers and you love their videos, you enjoy their videos, you enjoy their content and you follow them, okay? You see influencers, then you follow them. And what does it mean to follow them? It means you, you whatever they do, you consume, right? And also, in the same regard, they can now influence your buying decisions. Okay? This is powerful, guys. Once you understand that influencers are so powerful also in social media that they can, they can actually make you buy stuff. Okay, that's why Facebook and all this um, Facebook, Instagram, they created shops because they understood that with influences okay basically influences they create they create amazing content people consume right and then influences can use that uh, the content allows them to build a relationship with you and in a way to follow them and to want to do everything they do right and then on the and then influences have stumbled upon it that wow when we we can actually make a lot of money with e-commerce and that's why drop shipping was born right so people that make the most money with drop shipping is who it's influencers because influencers can focus all their energy on what on making great content drop shipping that means they get products straight from china and these products go straight to there to you right so the, the influencers they can get products straight from china and then this product can go straight to what? To their followers. And just by doing that, guys, these guys made a lot of money. Okay? But here's what we learn about what allowed influencers to become billionaires. So what allowed, what, what made influencers become billionaires? We know, we know like the Kardashians, right? With, um, with Kate Jen, I think. Hope I'm right. When she created the lip gloss brand and what happens she became a billionaire doing that right so we learned that now the e-commerce created what billionaires out of influencers not millionaires guys billionaires e-commerce with the with this help of what of social media okay so we see two things social media created followers created influencers influencers and followers followers started building e-commerce e -com brands and we know of people that became billionaires doing that okay 
because their followers ate all their products. They ate them up to a, to a point that she never even had stock. She couldn't even, she didn't have even inventory to supply because there were so many people who wanted to buy it that she didn't even have enough inventory. Think about that, guys. That is crazy. And today I want us to discuss how that works. Okay. Because the thing that we need to understand about e-commerce and why it works it's we first need to understand social media we need to understand influencers and the power they have right and then once you understand the relationship between the influencers because you need a couple of things right you need you need uh, so for for, for e-commerce to work very very well you need influencers okay behind the brand then you need you need a brand okay you cannot because if you really want to do this properly, you have to make your own brand, okay? And the brand, obviously, the influencer is the one that what? That, because a brand, what makes a brand? The brand is the story, okay? It's, it's, um, it's the story that basically uh, helps you to fix the big problems. But in the, in the middle of, in the middle of the brand, right in the middle of the brand, you have an influencer. Yeah, that's why all big brands pay influencers a lot of money because you cannot have a brand without an influencer. It has always been like this since the beginning of time. But now social media made it possible for small people to get into the game. Whereas before, it was only big companies that could afford to hire these movie stars and get them to represent the brand because that works. That makes a lot of money. But today we can do it on any scale, on a small scale, on a micro scale. We can do it but what's important is you have to understand how this works how influencers build brands right because with uh kate jenner you remember that she the way she built her brand was through her story that she did not like her lips but once she started using this this particular brand it helped to add volume to her lips and made her look amazing Right, that's the story. So we see there's a brand, there's a story, which is which is which is um, which is given by the influencers. That's her story, and then this uh, this uh, lip gloss made her look amazing, and now all the teenagers want it because they also want to look like her, right? And that's how she became a billionaire. You see it, easy. So it's the influencer is the brand. Okay. So now, the way this works is your brand. You need to have a story. Remember, Kay Jenner had a story. Okay, Kylie. No, Kylie. 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 Sorry, guys. Kylie had a story. Kylie. Okay. Kylie had a story. Okay. And her story was her lips. She was not happy about that. There was a story. There was a big problem. Okay. And the story incorporates the big problem and what? The, the, the big solution. Let's call it the big solution. Okay, so that's what we learn here. That that's what we, this is the formula. You have an influencer who creates a brand, but the way she created this, there needs to be a story. Okay, there's a book that helps you to outline this, uh, that teaches how to build a brand story. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll put it in the description. So basically, what the brand is, it's a story. Okay, and who says the story? Who tells the story? The influencer, because when an influencer speaks. People listen. Do you see? So the influencer gives a story of the brand. And with with Kylie, we, we see the same thing. She had, she had an amazing story of how a product helped her. And she started, she was smart in that in in, in the olden days, there would have been another company that actually owns the brand. But she did what? She owned her own brand that, that was able to solve the, the problem for her. And then this, she draws people. Then that's how she drove people to an e-commerce store, right? And that's how she was able to sell out, you know, in the first day. And they did not have enough product to sell because there were so many people that understood the story, that bought into the story, okay, that believed the story and wanted to come to the e-commerce store and buy stuff. So this is the formula, guys. You got the influencer, you got a brand, you got the story that needs to articulate the big problem and the big solution. And then once that is done, then that's when people can come to an e-commerce store to buy a product that 
gives them this that that solves the big problem okay because the mistake that most people make is they will show a product how it works and then drive people to an e-commerce store okay this is the formula that dropshippers teach you product product uh, product demos demonstration and drive to an e-commerce store okay this is how it's done but this does not this is not the most powerful way to do it okay the proper way to do it is what you need to before you do a product demo you need what you need an influencer to do that for you all right you need an influencer to not to do the product demo but you need a, an influencer to incorporate the story that aligns with her as an influencer and then the story there must be the big problem right and the big solution okay i have i hate my lips how they look they look thin tiny ugly i have this amazing product i'm using it now i look amazing right and this you know it, i couldn't find the product anyway so i had to go out and do it myself that's why i own the brand and you can buy it from my store if you want it that's it done this formula works like crazy that's why social media and e-commerce work so well together especially when it comes to building brands right so with dropshipping it worked because in the beginning there was product demo that drove to e-com stores right but as we know that over time the impact or i think already the impact of just doing product demos right in, since sending people to an e-com store there's been a lot of people that have been scammed as a result so people now are sort of careful not to do this that's why most people will see the product and say it makes sense i like it and then they will go to amazon or any big uh, online retail store and go buy it there instead of buying it from your drop shipping store okay if you want to fix that problem you want to create trust around your brand you want to create trust around your e-com store and the way you do that is you use influencers okay now i want to show you a simple a simple way to do this i'm going to show you a simple way to do this an easy way to do this without you having to find influencers without you having to pay a lot of money to influencers you know i can i'm going to show you the simple way but what's important is understand that a brand needs a person to represent it they are normally called spokesperson okay so you need to understand that relationship you need a person that people can relate to people can say okay i trust her and because they trust her that trust is transferred to the brand so you need an influencer of some sort when you when you're building an e-com store that's that's the new way of doing it in 2023 if you want to be seriously successful doing this you need an influencer okay and the influencer obviously they need to have they need to share a story a big problem a big solution story okay and then after that okay this is how you do it so you can actually go to fiverr.com okay and then you can actually pay someone to get a, to 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 um to become your influencer take your product and your brand and to show it on camera and to use it and to and to incorporate it into their in, in, into their their style right but to incorporate it as a story big problem big solution kind of thing that is super important okay so now what you do is now you have the influencer and what you do now is you can run social media ads okay whether it's facebook ads tiktok ads whatever you know you can run social media ads with the influencer on again uh, with the influencer uh, sharing their story on how the product has helped them right and then what will happen is you don't send them so when people click on the ad they need to now come to a, a, a landing page right and on the landing page what happens here is you don't send them straight to the you don't send them straight to an e-commerce store right they go to a landing page now where the influencer okay uh, shares a detailed story about a, a detailed 
um, shares a detailed background story on how the product helped them okay detailed background okay so you have a, 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 a page where the influencer introduces themselves they, they, they share their background how they found the product uh, the problem you know they had big lips did not like them and they couldn't find a product they tried many products couldn't find it but now they decided to they stumbled upon the brand and they started using it and they said the results and they love it right basically that's what the page teaches and if possible you can also add testimonials of other people that had the same experience okay to build credibility okay so now someone sees your ad social media ad okay they see the influencer okay sharing their story big problem big solution story they click on the ad they come to landing page where now they are in they are uh, in a way i'll uh, give a more detailed story about the influencer suppose they need to build that relationship with the influencer so you you give them that chance by having a more detailed story where i come from where i grew up how this thing changed my life you know as detailed as possible testimonials from other people and then once that is done okay once that is done the next step will be they must go through a quiz right to help them determine okay uh, or also help them uh, determine we can help them find the perfect solution you can ask them how big are your lips what color are your lips you know what kind of uh, do you like sweet tasting lipstick or do you like the one that does not have taste do you have any allergies and stuff like that right but basically what the quiz does is we're looking for two things is to qualify the, making sure the people who are coming to the quiz and qualify but also we need to capture their contact details so the quiz will, will, will ask them relevant questions to fix the to fix whatever they need okay the quiz will, will ask them relevant questions but also at the end we'll capture their contact details and then once we have captured their contact details and then the next step will be to recommend a product okay we'll recommend a product right that's the next step you recommend the product okay so most times they may not buy it at that point but that's why we keep their contact details so we can follow up with them and we can use chat chatbots and ai to have a conversation with them and convince them to buy the product we can give them discount codes and so forth and so forth the follow-up works you know you can easily double or triple your sales just by having a follow-up sequence okay and this is how you build a an e-com store that sells very very well in 2023 by following this process okay not doing the old school way of doing a product demo running an ad about someone who who shows you how the product works and it goes directly into an e-com store okay when you do it with an influencer at the center and you also you uh, brand the product that means even if you take the product from aliexpress you create a brand around it okay what that does it allows people to trust you more it allows people to feel the product is different than all the other products they have seen around okay it differentiates you from everybody else and it helps them to build their trust relationship and this can have a massive impact on the amount of sales you get uh, on your e-com store okay so now the big question will be uh, we need a demo for this okay we need to store and we need to see step by step how this is done okay because because this is just a summarized overview of how this process works okay so if if you would like to go in depth with this you say it makes sense i want to know more i want to learn more okay so what you can do is you can um, register for our coaching program and we, I will show you a step-by-step -step demo on how this works so that you can see how it's done so you can be able to do it and make
crazy amounts of sales doing this so if you're interested just um check the description and you'll find more information there so thank you very much for your time and we'll talk again in the next video